For generations, Northamptonshire's central location has played a vital role in trade and travel, transporting goods and passengers throughout the country. In the Middle Ages, the journey took them along the River Nen. Then in the 18th century, it was down the Grand Union Canal. And by the mid 19th century, they traveled on the fast track of the railway. Such was the popularity of rail travel at the time that an entire industry was developed to create small scale versions of the new locomotives. And over a century later, enthusiasm for these miniature trains is still going strong. So where better to send our model railway devotee, David, and his wife, Sheila, than the Northampton Society of Model Engineers based at the La Prey Park, where they met up with Chairman Peter Squire. Hello. <laughs> Hello, Sheila. Hello, Dave. Hi there. Welcome to the Northampton Society of Model Engineers. The origins of the club really go back to as far as 1933. Shortly after the club was formed, there are records of the big model maker in the town, Bassett Loke, actually attending some of the meetings and addressing them. Um, and we actually have here one of his designs from the uh, 30s and 40s. This was actually built by one of our members in 1970, and it's quite a fine example of those designs at the time. And these were the model that everyone wanted. Bassett Loke models had a fantastic reputation. They were available in all sorts of scales, um, from smaller than that to, uh, to quite a lot larger, in fact, a lot larger than, than those that we have here. Before nationalisation in 1948, the country's rail network was divided between four regionally based private companies known as the Big Four. LNER, standing for London and North Eastern, LMS for London, Midland and Scottish, GWR, which was Great Western, and SR, a Southern Railway. The locomotives from each of these companies had their own distinct designs and characteristics, and allegiance to a particular railway tends to lie with the region in which enthusiasts were born and raised. GWR, that's me. I, I love Great Western. I'm the same. Collectors are prepared to pay up to £50,000 for the most highly prized models in mint condition, and Vice Chairman David Holland explains the mechanics that make the machines move. A steam engine is basically just a big kettle on wheels with somebody's thumb over the spout to generate a pressure. The fire in here creates the steam, which then, through the cylinders on the side of the locomotive, power it. With the theory done, the real fun can begin. And you can't possibly drive without one of those. Thank you. All aboard. From the look of intense concentration on David's face, it's full steam ahead, despite the sudden change in the weather. Here comes the rain. Someone passed Sheila an umbrella. <laughs> Just what we need. And let's hope we don't hit the rails when it comes to our next house.